。OK。Yeah. So concerning the challenges in the area of sustainability and how fuzzy logic, in a very、uh, long-term perspective, relates to it. Well,、uh, first of all, let me try to clarify the concept of sustainability. Sustainability implies that you are happy with the situation as it is, and you want it to continue. That's my interpretation of sustainability, and、uh, its sustainability relates to what we consider to be positive good. Now, so far as fuzzy logic is concerned, of course, sustainability is a very broad concept. So you cannot say that fuzzy logic has some special role to play in sustainability. But I think that. An important issue that comes in is this: that for something to be sustainable, you have to be prepared to assign higher weight to the future, not to the present. Because if you if you maximize your present pleasures, then the system will not sustain itself. And、uh, let me. If I may, just to give you an example, that was some time ago. But I was a visitor at the research center operated by North American、uh, North American Aviation. It was in suburb of Los Los Angeles. It was like this place, Rotary Club in Menlo Park. It was a paradise, and people. Uh, were supported、uh, by the company, the government indirectly, and they met. They had nice discussions. They have cup of tea, coffee, so forth. And、uh, I was there, and then I told myself, you know, this is too good to be true. Too good to be true. <laughs> you cannot have this sort of thing. And indeed, a year later, they shut it down. It was not sustainable. So the situation. Which you bring a pop up, bunch of people, smart people, say, okay, talk about X and Y and Z, and we'll try to solve all the problems. We'll no, don't do anything. Just have a cup of tea or coffee. Nice discussions. Not sustainable. So、uh, I see that many countries today are con somewhat concerned about the United States that are pursuing policies which are not. Sustainable, not sustainable, and so today it's okay, but in five, ten years, the situation in United States may be as bad as it is in Greece because the national debt, sixteen trillion dollars, is growing all the time. Money is being printed by Federal Reserve. More and more lobbyists in Congress. I saw one figure which really surprised me: 40% of congressmen and senators who leave their position become lobbyists. So Washington is swarming with lobbyists. As a result of that, bills becoming thicker and thicker and thicker.、Uh, Federal Reserve was established in 19 something. I don't remember what year. The bill, the law, 30 pages long. Today, anything that happens is 900 pages, 1,000 pages, 2,000 pages. Nobody can understand what's in them. The lobbyists put all sorts of things in there. Give so much money to this, give so much to that, give exceptions to this and that. The、uh, somebody wrote a book on that subject, which is the best seller in Washington now, describing. This situation, and his prediction was that the country will be destroyed by the, the legal system, law-making system, being controlled by lobbyists—not visibly, but invisibly. So this has to do with sustainability. Is there hope that this situation won't happen? Yes. So fuzzy logic helps in one way. Fuzzy logic. It departs from this 
black and white reasoning. Yes, no, this is, this is good, this is bad. It sort of dismisses that, it puts it aside. It's a situation that's much more complex than that. We cannot be very precise about the future. We cannot be very precise about the assessment of whether distance learning is good or bad. We cannot be very precise about whether Obama's health care is good or bad. We cannot be very precise when it comes to eco eco ecosystems, allocation of resources. Should we put our money into this or into that? Right now there is a debate about, uh, about pipeline from Canada to Texas, about extraction of natural gas from shale, you see, or oil from shale. Is it good or bad? It's clearly it's an important issue. It seems that in the short range it's good. People, farmers, they give up their farmland, they let companies make a well, drill for wells, they make money from gas and so forth, but in the end it may result in pollution, in, in destruction of natural re natural resources in contamination of water. Climate change is an important issue. Uh, should we control emission of pollutants or not? Uh, if we don't, if you take a short range point of view, then our children will suffer, you see? So these are the issues which uh, are very basic issues. They do not have clear-cut answers. So as easy fuzzy logic as a way of saying, you know what, these issues are very complex. You cannot resolve them in a simple, precise fashion. This might be uh, Obama from the White House now uh, <laughs> calling you. Yeah. Thank you very much, <laughs> yeah. Professor Lotfi Sadi.